Ah, let's watch a little bit of this. Obviously, first take, can't watch too much of it because YouTube be. Let's see what they got to say real quick. Okay. ended up scoring 17 points, even though that doesn't speak to how... That's the undisputed before this. Really yeah. I'll tell you all about that boy Mahomes, man. But the big story is Lamar Jackson. Ladies Sheesh. and gentlemen, with all due respect, it was a choke job. Let's just call it what it is. What is the Sheesh. definition of a choke job, Shannon and D.O.? It's doing what you always do, what you're accustomed Sheesh. to doing, until the moment Sheesh. arrives, and then you don't. That is the epitome, that is the definition what we're talking about here. We're going to see final numbers right here, okay? 20 of 37, 54% completion, 272 yards, one touchdown, two interceptions. Obviously, one interception and one lost fumble with the sack. We get all of that. He was sacked four times. Yeah. Rushed for about 54 yards. That's what we'll talk about. Yeah. What we won't say enough about is that you came out mm. looking tight. Mm. What we won't talk enough about are the overthrows, the underthrows, Damn. you know, getting key passes swatted at the line of scrimmage. We won't talk about that. We won't, even with the bomb that he hit uh, Zay Flowers with on the yeah. trick play. I mean, that's a touchdown if Zay Flowers doesn't have to wait for the football. And how did that end up costing you? Because a couple of plays later, you hit Zay Flowers for a touchdown, but he fumbles right before he gets to the goal line. And obviously, that's not on Lamar Jackson. But again, you had him wide open, and he waited all day, every day, for the ball to land in his arms because he was wide open and was waiting for the ball, and you were a bit late getting it to him. We see all of these different things. Jeez. and You know who you're going up against. It, and I hated the fact that the call was made in that moment, but nevertheless, you knew it was possible. That's why you don't do something like that. Myself included, the, what Patrick Mahomes did yesterday mm. against the best defense in arguably the last 10 years in the NFL is absolutely remarkable. When Patrick came into the league, it was to. like, it's oh perfect. my gosh, never seen anything like this guy. Jaw-dropping, primetime, unbelievable plays. And we watched yesterday, the first two drives, that be exactly who Patrick was. Some of those third down plays that he had to Travis Kelsey, no one else in the world is making those. In the history of this game, this throw to Patrick Travis on the back shoulder, the only place he could throw that ball is on the back hip. If it's on the back shoulder, it's incomplete. If it's on the back hip, it's complete. The runaround play that he gets to Travis and he throws it on third and four, some of the plays he made with his legs were absolutely remarkable. And then we saw him just choke yeah. this game and suffocate this game and manage this game by the decision making and the way that he didn't take sacks and the way that he, he didn't give the football away. Here, here's the, the, the remarkable thing about Patrick. In his last six playoff games, he's got 11 touchdowns, no turnovers. He's taken five sacks. He's great in the regular season and better in the postseason. Last year's Super Bowl, he played against the Eagles quarterback. He threw more interceptions this year than he had at any point in time in his mm. short career. And we watched the drops week in and week out. And the, what we saw that uh, Andy Reid said, you know what? We got a better a chance of winning if we make sure Kadarius Tony does not step on the field. Mm. And he went on his little rant yesterday, and maybe we get to that at a later date in time. But when Patrick Mahomes, what do we say, Dio? What do we say, Stephen A.? They're going to have to go. Molly even mentioned this. They're going to have to take their show on the road this year. Yeah. Something that they have to do. I don't care who you are. Do you understand what I am? And he went Eesh. there. And he went toe-to-toe. -to -toe. And I keep telling you this, Dio. I keep telling everybody this. There's yeah. levels to this. And mm. this is not a slight on any other quarterback. But Patrick Mahomes is in another world. Mm. Can we stop trying to put Joe Burrow? Can we stop mm. trying to put Lamar Jackson? Can we stop trying to put Josh Allen on his level? They have not mm. earned that right. He's by himself. Damn. He's looking at Joe Montana. He's looking at Tom Damn. Brady. That's who he's looking at. Damn. He's not looking at kept Travis Kelsey in. And when they went bomb blitz or what percent of the time, mm. when he hit, that ball pops out. Question is the biggest headline. I give oh. you the surprise. I give you the surprise. I'll give you the surprise. All uh, considering what we've seen from the Kansas City wide receivers throughout the season for the first downs, by the way, a couple of spectacular catches by Travis Kelsey. You went to all reliable. And D D O and I was thinking we were saying, I think they're one and done. As great as Patrick Mahomes is, because okay. the way Josh Allen lost to Kansas, we saw them rattled. We saw them immature. Right, we man. saw them out of sync.